Well, tonight I'm going to be reviewing this telescope here. It's a Celestron Nexstar 130 SLT computerized scope. I got this on eBay. I want it for $215. And uh, as a bonus, when I got the box, it came with this box of eyepieces and filters and I looked them up online and they're about a hundred close to 150 bucks so bonus uh, after I bid on it I want it for deep sky imaging and after I bid on it I read some reviews that it wasn't no good for deep sky imaging to buy something else an equatorial mount that a good one. Well, I look, they're about two thousand dollars. I got this for two hundred. If I can take images with this that are halfway decent, I'll be happy. Half the people don't have a budget for two thousand dollars plus a two thousand dollar telescope. So us poor country folks, we want something like this. And. Uh, I'm not gonna lie, I tried it out last night. I struggled to get it lined up, but once I got it lined up, what I seen on the internet was that you can only do 30 second images, 30 second exposures. Well, once I got it lined up and it was tracking right, I did a minute and 20 seconds and there was no star trailing or anything, so. We'll just have to see how it turns out. Uh, I'm going to try to do the uh, Eagle Nebula tonight. If I can get the Pillars of Creation on there, then to me that's a that's a bonus. It, to me that this telescope will do good. But we'll just see. I mean, it's humid, it's muggy. Right now, I think the heat index is still 90 degrees, and the sun is down. So we'll see how that works out. Let me show you what I got as far as the setup. Okay, first things first. I did the uh, mirror mod. I don't know if you can see that or not, but I've moved the mirror back so I can get my focus on my DSLR. It was, it was pretty easy. I just needed some longer springs and some longer screws. Pretty simple. Uh, Recollimated everything, and then I went to add my camera. Everything, the T-ring and everything fit in the two inch, so everything worked good. Now this is a cheap camera. Canon EOS 1000D. I got it for 25 bucks. They said it wouldn't come on. And I did the little, watch the YouTube video on how to hold two buttons down and turn it on at the same time to get it to come back on. And it worked. So then I decided to take it apart and do the IR mod, which I thought would destroy it. But for 25 bucks, I was willing to take a chance. And let me tell you, it was easier than I thought it was going to be. It was really easy. So it's got the IR mod for uh, nebulas. And uh, it's done pretty good. I've, I've used it on some uh, refractor telescopes. This is my first reflector. The only reason I bought a reflector is because I like that when a star has that four points coming off of it. I really like that, so I thought I'd try it. And this was a cheap enough telescope to do it with. So, one thing I did figure out last night on the reviews that yes this is a shaky tripod I don't know why the tripod looks good but I think the mount itself is just shaky I mean it's, it, it is it is shaky but once you set it up and get it running and taking pictures if you don't touch it don't breathe on it it'll take pretty decent pictures but we'll see for sure tonight and uh, I'll show you the results I'll get back to you when it gets dark. Okay, I just did my alignment. 
and I put it on named objects and I put it on the Eagle Nebula and it went right to it. I'm going to do an exposure, make sure it's in center. Let's see what we got here. I ain't got much light to work with, so. Envelometer. I'm going to just cut it on for 30 seconds. I'm going to do a 30 second exposure just to see how it's doing. That's 30 seconds there. Let's see what we got. I might try to center it a little more, but it looks pretty good. I'm going to center it a little bit, but it, it's pretty daggone close. All right, I'm going to center it up and take a bunch of frames. I'm at 1600 ISO. And I'm going to try to do maybe 45 second exposures. Let's, I'm just going to experiment for a minute and then take a bunch of Exposure and see what happens in the morning. All right, there we go. All right, I just finished up my images. I stacked them all in a deep sky stacker and then used GIMP, which is free software. Nothing special. I just ran through the basic steps. Didn't do no star reduction, nothing like that. Well, I was a little out of focus. This is a learning curve. I do not have a focusing mask for this yet. I ain't had it but a couple days, so. Um, I didn't have much time on there. A lot of the first ones I took of the Eagle Nebula, I lost because my wiring got hung, tangled up. That's my fault. This is a learning curve for me, so. And, uh. It was 80 degrees last night. I don't think it ever got below 80. And that's not good on a sensor in the DSLR. You get all kind of noise with that kind of temperature. I should have went with a little shorter exposure, but I went with a 40 second exposure. I probably should have went with a 30. And it was muggy. It was kind of hazy. So that didn't help. But not making excuses or nothing. I'll show you the images, and I think this is going to be pretty good for some deep sky objects. I'd like to try some planetary. I would love to get a galaxy just to see what it's going to look like. If I get a clear night that it ain't so hot and muggy, maybe I'll try a galaxy and see how it turns out. Like today, that we're under heat advisory. We're supposed to be over 105. It's not going to happen no time soon, it looks like, so. But when I get a chance, I'm going to try it. Other than that, it, it tracked great. It tracked great all night. And it went right to the objects, just like it's supposed to do. Centered them in the frame, right when it stopped on them. I love that. I love that. I've got some me go-to mounts that... They don't seem like they ever hit the target exactly right, so I'm impressed with the, the go-to part of it. So, All right, let me get these images on here, and I'll show you what, what I came up with with very little integration time. So here we go.